What's up? My name is Formula 8. Today we're going to be rebuilding the Seattle Seahawks. Uh, first, let's check out this roster. Drew Locke will not be our quarterback of the future. I promise you that. He's a 66 with normal dev. Uh, Geno Smith might be the starter this year. I don't think anyone's going to want Drew Locke, so we might just keep him. This team it has some really promising pieces. It really does. Tyler Lockett, interesting one. I think he's like 29, but he's a 90 overall. Holy shit. Always loved Tyler Lockett. He's always performed fantastic. Obviously, you got Superstar X Factor, DK Metcalf. 89. He's very good. You got Marquise Goodwin in there. I feel like Marquise Goodwin, how old is he? 31. Might be looking to move on from Hen, but always love Marquise Goodwin too. Charles Cross, rookie out of Mississippi State. 73. He'll progress pretty well. Oh. Who is this? Damian Lewis, 72. Uh, Austin Blythe. Gabe Jackson. Abraham Lucas, which I think Austin Blythe's in his 30s. I think Abraham Lucas is in his... I think Gabe Jackson is in his 30s. I think he's like 35, 31. Okay, not as old. He's a 78. Might be looking on to move on from him. Noah Fan, obviously, from the Broncos. He's only 24. He should progress pretty well for us in this rebuild. Not with Drew Locke being the quarterback. Got Rashad Penny. We also have the beast, Kenneth Walker III from Michigan State. He's already a 77. Uh, Yeah, Rashad Penny is going to be a traded. Kenneth Walker is going to be the starter of the future. Should progress into superstar easily. Oops. Defensively. Oh. Well, I forgot about him. Quandre Diggs, he's 29, but he is an 84. Might be looking, might keep him this year. Might look forward to moving on from him eventually. I'm not sure. Uh, Marquise Blair is 25. He's 73. He ain't going to progress. Okay. Got Sidney Jones. He's pretty old. Going to be looking forward to move on from him. Got Artie Burns. He's up there too. <gasps> I forgot Seattle drafted Kobe Bryant. I love Cincinnati. Um, I live in Cincinnati, but love the Bearcats. Bearcats have had one of their best seasons ever last year, and they had the most players drafted ever in their school history. Uh, Kobe Bryant, he's only 68 normal, but I definitely wanted to get him starting to progress, maybe pick up star dev development by the end of the season. He's a rookie. I know he's already 23, but I love me some Kobe Bryant. Who is this? Is this Shelby Harris? Shelby Harris, am I right? Yes. He's 31, 77. Might keep him for a year. We're definitely going to have to look to draft some defensive tackles because Al Woods is an old guy. He is old, man. Could afford. He's old, too. <clears throat> Jordan Brooks. Nwosu. I think Nwosu is actually pretty young. Yeah, 25 out of USC. 76 star. Definitely going to be keeping him for this rebuild. Jamal Adams, obviously. 91 overall. Superstar. I'm surprised he doesn't have Superstar X Factor. But we'll probably keep him, build around him. I don't know what I want to do with Quandre Diggs yet. I really don't know what to do with him. Daryl Taylor, 25. Definitely can build around him as well. He only has normal depth, but he is a 75. Might get up into his 80s within the second, third year. And this is obviously Jordan Brooks, 24, 83 years old. He's a beast. Beast. So this team isn't... I mean, there's obviously a lot of pieces we can upgrade. But there's definitely upside for this team. If we can get a quarterback in this draft coming up... We're going to be looking pretty solid, but let's go trade off some players as we always do. All right. Definitely a stretch. Uh, Drew Locke. Will Disley. Disley is getting paid. I have it written down here. He's getting paid 24 mil total for three years. I mean, we already have Noah Fant on two-year deal. And Disley could progress decent. He is young. I think he's 24, but and we're trading a first-round draft pick this year for the Texans' third round, projected third-round pick. I think the Texans are going to be really bad. Especially if they decide to start Drew Locke now. So, that is what it is. 
blockbuster of a trade here. We're trading off Sidney Jones, Tyler Lockett in a second round draft pick for the Giants first and second round draft picks this year. I think that's a fair trade. We are clearing up some cap room. I love me some Tyler Lockett. I'm sorry I traded him, but he's just... Damn, Rashad Penny's young too, dude. Seahawks have always... Dude, their running backs have always been pretty solid. We definitely need a tackle. I might trade for one, man. Call me crazy for making this done. Kenyon Green, he's a beast rookie. Texans just drafted him. I know he's a 72, but I have a feeling his dev trait is going to be good. I'm baking on it. Let's hope so, because we're shipping off Rashad Penny, Shelby Harris, and a third-round draft pick. Uh, giving the Texans way too much. Obviously. One last thing I do want to trade for, and I'm not shipping any players. I will be shipping some draft picks. We need a left in. We're shipping off a second round draft pick this year for Dexter Lawrence, 79 overall from the Giants. A uh, huge upgrade. That's all the trades we're going to be making this year. I didn't go too crazy and trade off my whole team this time. I'm proud of myself. Let's go to our lineup. The new revamped, new and improved Seattle Seahawks. All right, we're trading Woolen and Jackson Sr. for the... <clears throat> Bears seventh round draft pick. Those cornerbacks, they're just not going to get playing time. It is preseason, but I'm doing this just so the computer doesn't cut Kobe Bryant. I know they shouldn't. He's a rookie, but you never fucking know with the computer in this game. That's all the trades we're going to be making. Uh, not a good team. We kind of stripped them. We didn't really strip them too bad. Let's choose draft class. Auto-generated. I'm still trying to get a feel for this auto-generated scouting system. Anywho, let's fix this. I think they did good focusing on quarterback. Offensive line. I think I'm going to keep this, actually. I'm going to keep my scouts for the first time ever in a rebuild. But I'll see you guys at the midseason mark. Finished 2 and 15. The Chiefs beat the Panthers in Super Bowl 57 31 24. Discussed your struggling quarterback at the front office. Well, I guess that kind of lets us know how Geno Smith did for the year. Let's go to stats and awards. Let's see how this team performed. I have a feeling. Geno Smith, 32 touchdowns, 16 picks, 4,600 yards. Honestly? That's not, it's not great. 4,600 yards isn't terrible. 32 touchdowns, I'm surprised at that. He did have a lot of interceptions, but he actually performed way better than I ever thought he would have. Kenneth Walker, 600 yards, that's it. Four touchdowns, only 3.4 per carry. Oh, I was hoping he would have a stellar year. Might have to change the offensive scheme. Kenneth Walker, only 187 attempts. Geno Smith, do they really just want Geno Smith to throw the ball? Receiving Metcalf had 1,200 yards, 9 touchdowns. Goodwin even had 1,000 yards, 3 TDs. Noah Fant had almost 905. Dwayne Eskridge, 780 and 7. So, Metcalf had a good year. Blocking. Oh my god, Charles Cross gave up 28 sacks. That's gotta be a fucking record. Abraham Lucas allowed 21. Oh my. Damian Lewis and Gabe Jackson did really well. Oh. We gotta, we gotta upgrade this line. 28 sacks allowed. It's not good. Jordan Brooks, 100. Solo tackles. I had 131 total. 7 tackles for loss. 1 interception. Uh, Daryl Taylor had 13 tackles for loss. Nuosu had 10. That's pretty promising. Not bad. Not too bad. Justin Coleman had two picks. One for Brooks, one for Quandre Dix, one for Jamal Adams, and one for Artie Burns. I remember how Kobe Bryant did. Uh, any touchdowns? Any fumbles? Any fumble recoveries? One from Cody Barton. Oh, Force fumbles. One from Cody Barton, Artie Burns, Justin Coleman, and Marquise Blair. No touchdowns. Okay. Uh, we have a lot of work to do. Like the yearly awards. The yearly awards. Josh Allen won MVP. There we go. Something finally realistic in these rebuilds. Uh, no one in the top 10 from us. I mean, you can't really be surprised by that. 
Offensive player of the year. Cup, Cup. Anyone from Seattle? No. Defensive player of the year. JJ Watt. No one from Seattle. Offensive rookie there. Jamison Williams. Good for him. Kenneth Walker comes in at six. Was hoping he'd have a lot better year than what he did. No one from defensive rookie of the year. Yeah, definitely did not perform too well for Rugby Whip 2 and 15. Yeah. Jeremy Hartman guy. I've had him on my board. I think we're going to pick him. The Bucks really want him. The Bucks aren't going to get him. Scrambler. But, dude, throw on the run is an A. Medium accuracy, C, B deep, A short accuracy, A awareness, A play action. He ran a 4 6. Not the fastest, but even though he is a scrambler, but dude, he looks like he can sling it. He's only 22. I mean, I think Jeremy Hartman would be the way to go. I think he's the best quarterback in this class. I've looked at everyone else. Devin Lawrence, I'm not interested in. He's 23. It's not that great. Uh, Roman Gray, how do you look, buddy? I thought you had a great scouting report, didn't you? Ran a 4-5. A power moves. Dude, Roman Gray's going to have hidden death. Roman, he ain't going to be available, depending on what our pits, picks look like. We need to ride into. Ran a 4 7. A C, C pursuit. A power moves. B tackle. B to C impact blocking. C block shed. Ran a 4 7. Not bad. It's 22, 6 3, 276. Josh Martin does not look bad either. Max Porter, 22, 210, 511. Oh, struggles to find the ball in the air. Ooh. He did run a 4 3. Holy shit. Max Porter, buddy. Man coverage is an A. Yeah, with running a 4 3, I bet this guy, A catching. Struggles to find the ball, but he has A catching. Weird. B tackle, B zone. Max Porter is going to be a beast, too, if he's available, man. Isn't that weird, though? Struggles to find the ball in the air, but has A catching. Like, if you're really good at catching, you shouldn't have a problem finding the ball. That's just me. I, I don't know. Very weird. Bone crushing hits. That's always a good sign. 4-5. Jason Fowler is a fucking beast. Only has C tackle. How is his hit power only B to D if he bone crushing tackles? I really don't understand the scouting too much. Very weird. Delivers bone crushing hits, but is uh, what? Anywho, I think we're ready for the draft. We have a bunch of draft picks. Uh, we're gonna take a look at free agency. I don't think I'm gonna spend that much money. We do have 50 mil. We'll take a look, but I don't. Th I might try to get a defensive tackle for cheap. If that's it. Doran James really wants to go here. Yeah, I can't pay you, pal. I wish I could. I made that mistake on the Chicago Bears rebuild. I was signing free agents left and right, man. And it ending up hurting us in the long run. Kristen Hill, 74, 25. He's intriguing. We can get him on a two-year deal. Cheap, 10.6 mil. I think we'll bank on him. 74, we'll add good depth for our team. I just don't want to... Oh, dude. Marcus Davenport. I just don't want to spend too much money because I fucked myself in the Bears rebuild. We're going to save our money. Save the money for all these first-round draft picks we're going to draft. And we're going to send to the draft. I think that's the best move. If we get that DT 74 overall, awesome. If not, worry about it next year. I'm going to learn to try to save my money a little bit better. Because that first offseason, the Bears, I fucking exploded almost all my money. I'm like, I have 120 mil? Fucking send it. Ended up killing me because uh, I ended up not having enough money for Justin Fields. We have the first overall pick. Seahawks sat the second and fourth. Oh. The Texans have first pick. We don't. Oh, my. Excuse me. I don't know why I thought we were drafting the Texans. We have the second and fourth overall pick, which is really good. I'm worried about the Texans drafting the quarterback I want, and they are. We have to trade. We have to trade for the first round. I really need this quarterback. He looked really good, man. 
Are you kidding me? These fuckers, man. They don't want my fifth round draft picks. All right, we're trading my first round draft pick 10, third rounder next year, and a fifth rounder this year for the very first overall pick. That's It's hard to believe the Texans went worse than 2-15. and 15. But I really want this quarterback. I need this quarterback. We have the first, second, and fourth overall picks. Uh, Got to be very expensive, so definitely need to save some money. Gabe Jackson might get cut. Oh, this quarterback's not even supposed to go. We want Jeremy Hartman. He's who I've been looking at. I really want him. Ran a 4-6. Not bad, but he, dude, throw on the run. This guy looks good, man. He does look good. He's got normal dev. 84 speed, 93 throw power. We did, we did reach. We definitely reached on him, but he'll be our quarterback in the future. That normal dev really just is a stab in our heart. <sighs> All right, let's redeem ourselves here. Roman Gray looked really fucking good, man. So did Josh Martin and Max Porter. I thinking I want to take Roman Gray. Roman Gray looked really good. And Washington's going to pick him if we don't. So let's pick Roman Gray. He has hidden dev. 86 speed. 91 excel. 80 strength. I think he's going to be very good. I think he will be a beast. Let's see you. Uh, next pick. Who did they take? Scott Harrison. Yeah, they would have taken... They would have taken Roman Gray, which I'm completely happy with. Now, I have a very hard decision between Max Porter and Josh Martin. This is going to be a hard one. Josh Martin looks really good, too. But which one has a better dev? Josh Martin, dude. B tackle, A power moves. 22, 6'3", 276. Like, Josh Martin would be a smart pick. Probably the smartest pick, but... This Max Porter, dude. I want to draft Max Porter just because of that 4-3. Let's do it. Let's see. He has got normal dev. 97 speed. I think we reached. I definitely think we reached here, but... He'll be our corner. Number 18 is weird. He's 22. I think that right in would have been a lot better pick. But let's advance the next user pick. I'm curious to see what... That right in was. We have round two, pick two. Let's pick up a right in or left in. Maybe even defensive tackle. We need linemen too. We got Leon Thomas here. Luis Hernandez. I did like him. I kind of want to pick him up. A pass block, B run block. How old are you, pal? You're 23. Lacks discipline resulting in avoidable penalties. Oh. Oh, penalties. Oh, you hate to see that. Leon Thomas, how are you? Bone crushing hits. Is this the guy who has fucking C tackling? Impact hit power C to F. Yeah. Bone crushing hits. But his hit power is only a C and a C to F. What the fuck? Uh we're definitely going to need an offensive line here. I think either Mike Young. Maybe. Lead block's an A. AC pass block. Awareness is an A. Are you if he's 22, we're picking him. He's 22. He won't get flagged much. I think Mike Young's a better pick. He's got hidden dip. 85 strength. I think Mike Young is a very good pick. Second rounder. Hidden dev. He will definitely be a starter this upcoming year. Alrighty, let's look at these guys. Oh. We picked Max Porter was an 81. He's got normal dev, but Max Porter is an 81. Holy shit. He ran that 4-3. Oh, fuck, you can't see me. Max Porter is an 81. He's got normal dev, but man. Holy shit. Roman Gray, 78. He's a beast too. Normal dev. Mike Young? Mike Young was a 74, man. That's a really good pick, too. Jeremy Hartman, 73. Normal dev. That sucks. Definitely reach for that. We picked him first overall. I really wanted him. I thought he would have hidden dev at least. DeMarcus Cousins is a 65. The rest of these picks are just... 
depth chart fillers. But I'm glad we got a center to start off right off the bat. Now I'm very intrigued to see the NFL. There's a couple players that I really wanted. I'm just curious to see where they went. We got the we got the two best players in the draft, even though they have normal devs. So we'll we'll take that. Christian Wiggins is a 77. He's a stud. They picked him round 30. That's insane. Corey Weber. Where's these other quarterbacks? I, I'm really worried about these quarterbacks. Uh, yeah, this quarterback class was not as good as Lance Hoffman was the best. He's a 74. What? What is his depth trait? Is does he have hidden? Of course. We pass on Lance Hoffman. I did not like his scouting report, which sucks. Which sucks. What's what's his depth trait? I'm gonna be. This is gonna piss me off. He's got star. It's fine. It's fine. If he had superstar or something, I uh, would have been pissed. Uh, that's fine. Lance Hoffman, man. We definitely reached on that. I feel like, dude, the Texans were definitely going to take him or Hoffman. I didn't want Hoffman. I really thought the quarterback we took would have been a lot better. Obviously, he's not. Kevin Ridley. It's an interesting name. I want to see that wide receiver that we should have taken. I cannot find him. Mike Riddick, there he is. He's a 68 overall. Okay, Mike Riddick was not that great. I knew he wasn't going to be that great. We did pass on him. I mean, overall, I don't think it was a bad draft class at all. I don't think we did bad drafting at all there. But let's upgrade these players, adjust this roster for the second season. All right, sim to the midseason mark. We're actually four and three. Holy shit. So we really need to upgrade our corners. We have one good corner, and that's it. Jordan Brooks, we definitely got to bring Jordan. This is why I wanted to save my money, because Jordan Brooks is going to be huge, but we need him. We have to. He needs a bigger offer. He wants a fucking stellar offer, man. Noah Fant, dude, we're, this is going to be rough next year. We sign on this. Damn it. This is going to be bad. We got 91 cap room, but we got so many players we got to resign. All right, we got Dexter Lawrence back. That's a start. All right, Noah Fant's gone. Fuck it. I'm not offering him any more money. He wants a fucking crazy deal, and he ain't getting it. Gabe Jackson is interesting. He's a 79, but dude, this guy. I'm gonna. I'm out on him. So I send the Super Bowl. We ended up going six and eleven. We were four and three. Finished up two and eight on the year. It sucks. The Rams were fucking three and four, and they finished up nine and one to end the year. Shocking. Uh, we knew this wasn't going to be a year. We did a lot better, so that's good. Progress, you know. Let's look at the stats from this year. Let's hope our quarterback did good enough where he could maybe have a development trait upgrade. So far, he had 28 passing touchdowns. He had 28 passing touchdowns, 14 picks. 4,400 yards. Not that great for the rookie year. Could be because of the sacks allowed. We'll see. Had a 61% completion pass percentage, too. Geno Smith did better than that, man. Geno Smith did better than our rookie quarterback. Kenneth Walker, again, two... Wait, fucking 900... He had 900 yards, 3.8 per carry. Jeremy Hartman, though, had 266 yards. Oh, we're going to have to change the scheme again. DK Metcalf, 1,100 yards, 7 TDs, 1,000 yards for Noah Fant, 8 TDs. Dwayne Eskridge, we're going to have to get a wide receiver. This offseason to help our quarterback for his sophomore year blocking. This is what I'm worried about. Charles Cross only gave up 15 this year. Not where we want to be, but luckily he's gone this year. Seven, Only 7 for Mike Young, rookie. I think he progressed pretty well defensively. 132 tackles from Jordan Brooks. I'm glad we signed him back. I'm pretty sure we did. Cody Barron, 91. 91 from Quandre Diggs. 85 for Max Porter. I bet Max Porter won Defensive Rookie of the Year. I'm hoping he did. 
13 tackles for your loss for Puna Ford, 12 from Roman Gray, the rookie. Roman Gray might have won defensive rookie of the year, too. Dexter Lawrence, 12. I will take it. 10 and a half from Sacks from Nuosu, 8 from Roman Gray, 8 from Dexter Lawrence, 3 and a half from Puna Ford, 2 and a half from Cody Barton, 2 from Tristan Hill. Yeah, Roman Gray definitely won defensive player of the year. Two intercepts from Jordan Brooks, two from Jamal Adams, one each from Cody Barron, Max Porter, Trey Brown, and Kobe Bryant even had an interception. I like that. Any touchdowns? No touchdowns this year. Um, positives on the defense. Defensively, what were we defensively? 26 offense, 21st defense. Ugh. Yearly awards. Jalen Hurts won MVP. Shocking. Shocking. Offensive player of the year, Cooper Cup again, dude. Cooper Cup's just destroying this league. Defensive player of the year was Aaron, Aaron Don, Darnold. No one from the Seahawks. Offensive rookie of the year, Lance Hoffman, of course. Jeremy Hartman actually came in second. Not bad. Defensive rookie of the year, Roman Gray didn't get it. Who is this Anthony Diller, Diller guy? Bay shops at fucking Dillard's. Roman Gray didn't win it. Are you kidding me? Max Porter came in six. Son of a bitch, man. Roman Gray should have won defensive player of the defensive rookie of the year. That just infuriates me. I'm gonna franchise tag no offense. 15.1 mil. It's a lot, but I mean he was asking for like a four-year 63 million contract, which honestly that would have been about 15 mil a year anyway. So we'll franchise tag him because we need him. Ready, Swain, I'm out. We're going to pick up a wide receiver in the offseason. I'm out on these guys. We don't need them. We had 83 mil, which that 83 mil could drop the 2 mil next season in a snap of a finger. It really could. But uh, this may be the year. We're going on the year three. We're going to do two more seasons at least, I think. We just finished our second season. Uh, we're definitely going to be making at least two big moves in during this offseason. First being wide receiver. He was available. Justin Jefferson, imagine. T. Higgins. We had T. Higgins in our last rebuild. Honestly, LaVisca Chenault is very interested in us. He is only an 82. No one else is interested in us. That sucks, man. Wow. Justin Jefferson wants to go to Washington because no income tax. You cheap bastard. You're going to get paid enough anyway. He wants 31.1 mil per year. Can't afford that. Would be nice. T. Higgins, though. Only 16.8. 16.8. We're going to go for T. Higgins again. He's not as expected, expensive as you would expect. Let's just offer that to T. Higgins. We do need a wide receiver, too. T. Higgins could fill that spot great. We do need a right guard. Chris Lindstorm is interested in us. I'm down to give him a deal. He's 27, but a three-year deal. Uh, yeah. I mean, we do need a cornerback. I don't want to explode all my money right now. Maybe a 79. Douglas is just too old. Man. Honestly, CJ Henderson's young. We're going to offer him a four-year deal. 18.8 mil. That's all the money we're going to be spending. We might be broke next year. 51.1 mil. That's it. That's if these guys sign with us, which I'm hoping to do. Cross your fingers. CJ Henderson signed with us. That's good. That's awesome. We got a cornerback over four years. That's fucking huge. Don't have to go after that in the draft. Let's see if we can get T. Higgins. If not, we're going to be drafting a receiver. If not, honestly, if, free hit, if T. Higgins hasn't signed with us by now, we're going to offer another receiver. We got T. Higgins, too, and we got Chris Lindstorm. That's all I really wanted. We did explode our money. We still got 52 mil. That could, like I said, could go down snap of a finger. But I'm happy. We're going to send the draft. I I'm happy with that free agency. We didn't explode too crazily. We got huge upgrades for our offense and defense in our offensive line, which I'm excited about with this draft. I just moved Kenyon Green to right tackle. And now, look at our offensive line. It is, it's looking good. A bunch of young players. 88, Chris Lindstorm. We moved Kenyon Green to right tackle. He was a 77 at left guard. But honestly, dude, 
Our O line's young. They're going to progress good. Noah Fan, I'd love to keep him, but he wants too much money. We're going to lose him next year. Hartman's already at 76. Normal dev kills him. Kenneth Walker goes up to star dev, 82. He'll do better. Changes my scheme. DK Metcalf, 95. Superstar X Factor. T Higgins, 87. Might go for a receiver in the draft. I mean, Eskridge isn't bad. Our offense definitely did get, get a lot better. So, Derek. Defense. Defensively, we need to focus on defensive tackle. Andre Diggs went down to an 82. Might be looking to trade him this year. Jamal Adams is going down, regressing. He's a 91 star. He was superstar. He regressed. Roman Gray went up to superstar. He's an 82 now. CJ Henderson, huge pickup star, 79 overall. Max Porter, surprised with his huge year. He did go up to an 82, but he still got normal depth. I'm not worried about him. Kobe Bryant isn't progressing as fast as I thought. It's fine. Good depth. Definitely looking to improve our cornerbacks and the defensive tackle really bad. Dexter Lawrence is still good. Even maybe a free safety. We're going all defense for this draft, man. Um, the Cardinals, it says the Cardinals have pick eight, but we definitely have... Hey, Devin Lawrence. Is that Trevor Lawrence's brother? We definitely have pick eight. Not bad. I'm taking Darnell Baxter. It might be a reach. He's got hidden dev. 89 strength. 78 excel. 79 agility. 76 speed, man. That's good speed for a rookie. I'm happy with that pick. He should be starting week one. It's a very good pick. We need a defensive tackle bad. We got one for the future. We'll take it. Hidden dev. CJ Carroll. We don't really need a receiver. Maybe we can play slot. Uh, we're going to advance to the end of the draft. Tight end. I was looking for a tight end there. There were no tight ends available, man. This is not a tight end draft class, which is fine. If we had money left over next offseason, I could definitely upgrade from Noah Fan. I don't think we're in win now mode. Our team is an 83. Let's look at the draft recap. Let's see how we did. We're going to start losing money like crazy. Oh, man. Yeah. Darnell Baxter. 77 overall, hidden dev. He's going to be a. I think he's got normal dev. CJ Carroll, hidden dev, 75. He's going to become a beast. We didn't even need T. Higgins, really. CJ Carroll is a steal. Shaquille Melton, 73. I think he's got hidden dev, normal dev. I think Daxton Baxter, Darnell Baxter was the one who had hidden dev. What did he? Yeah, hidden dev, 76. He's going to become a fucking stud muffin. Very good draft class, I think, in my opinion. Oh my, the two best players in the draft were 84 receivers. Jesus fucking fuck. 84 overall Leslie Powers. There's Justin Jefferson's replacement. He's got hidden dev. What is this guy? This guy is a fucking stud. We should not have drafted T. Higgins or picked up T. Higgins just because this superstar X Factor. 84 overall superstar X Factor. That guy is insane, bro. That guy's insane. That guy's insane. He went pick three. Isaiah Morse, 84. I'm sure he's a fucking beast too. Oh, God. We missed out, guys. We missed out. They're going to be like 95 overall by the second season. He's got Superstar X Factor too. Oh, my God. Oh, me. Oh, I'm stabbing myself in the heart right now, bro. I thought we had a good draft. No. These players right here, fucking insane. Wyatt Atkins. Hidden dev. I'm not even going to look. I'm. Oh, man. Dude, scouting and drafting is so weird this year. I didn't play Madden last year, so I'm way behind on the draft, on the scouting. Uh, we're going to sim next week. 82, 84 overall wide receivers that have Superstar X Factor. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here, man. We're simming to regular season. We changed our scheme already. Hopefully that will have a better impact this year for us. You're trying to negotiate Noah Fant. Quandre Diggs, we're going to go ahead and trade. Other than that, man, we're going to be good. We don't have too many players to resign this year, which is going to be meaning we're going to win now next year. Let's go to Trade Center and see if we can make some trades. Big trades, actually. We might make some big trades now. I'm trading Quandre Diggs fourth round next year and second round next year for the Falcons first overall pick. What really makes me mad about that Vikings 
them dra drafting Isaiah Morse. They have a 98 overall receiver. Here, let me, let me, we'll, we'll look at it real fast. Let me do this. Let me do this real fast. Take this off the board. Listen, when I show you the Vikings right now, y'all are going to be like, what the fuck? They didn't even need him. Mike Evans, 93. Marquise Brown is an 88 now. Wow. Leslie Powers, 84. Adam Thielen, 84. They didn't even need Leslie Powers. Like, I, I am not. Mm. We're going to be looking to trade for a safety. Daxton Hill is already an 80. That's surprised the Bengals kept fucking Jesse Bates. Uh, definitely looking for a decently young player. But we need a beast. We need a superstar. Javen Holland is going to be who I really want. Wandre Diggs. Xavier McKinney, even. I, I want a stud. We're giving up a first, so obviously... You know what? Either we're going for Antoine Winfield. That's going to be really hard to trade for. First round pick almost got him. We'll probably have to re-sign him, which we have the money to. I'm not mad. First and a sixth round draft pick. So we, oh, no. Fifth round? Maybe I'll take a fifth round draft pick for him. No. Next year. A fourth round next year should definitely do the job, which we don't have. We'll just do a fourth round this year. That's fine. I'll give it up. We're trading a first and a fourth this year for Antoine Winfield Jr. We're probably going to re-sign him this year, which is fine. Because we're other than Noah Fant, there's really no one else to re-sign this year. And I think that's going to be really good. I don't want to make any more trades, so let's send the midseason. I don't think our team is quite there yet now. But I really do believe after we progress, our rookies and our, our very young linemen this year, we're going to have to choose the right scheme. I mean, we're putting a good roster together. This roster would be so much fun to play with if I was doing it as my franchise career like the Panthers hopefully I make good draft picks in that series pray we're two and four not great not great we're gonna have to change our scheme up it up a lot 65 and a half mil dude Noah Fant wants an abs absurd amount of money dude it's fucking insane Kristen Hill I'm down to bring him back on a cheap deal two year 3.2 uh, what are we gonna do? All right, this is what we're going with. Where's Baltimore? If we're doing vertical run power, we're gonna do Baltimore's 87% scheme fit, 66 for vertical run. That's what we're going with. If this, like, that's pretty good scheme fits, good play, great playbooks. Mid season mark for two and four. Let's pray. Let's send to the playoffs, see if we can come back from two and four. Cardinals are six and one, man. This division is tough. This is Ivy. She somehow opened her playpen up. You want to hang out with me up here? You're going to hang out with me. We end up going 6 and 11 again, dude. This team's at 87, bro. Jeez, beat the Cowboys the Super Bowl. Oh, Cowboys fans, I feel bad for you. I feel for you. Let's look at the stats to another disappointing year. Dude, Jeremy Hartman's not the quarterback. Jeremy Hartman, terrible year. 3,400 yards, 25 TDs, 16 picks. Terrible pick from us. QB of this future, nah. There's a quarterback in free agency, and we have money. Uh, Damn well, we might be making moves. Kenneth Walker had 1,300 yards this year. 12 touchdowns. Great year from him. Great year. Hartman's gone. Metcalf, 860 yards, 5 TDs. We're focused on a run scheme this year. That's why Kenneth Walker did really good. He hit 700. 500 yards from Noah Fant. Blocking. 17 sacks allowed from Charles Cross. 10 from Kenyon Green. Charles Cross is just not the hyping up to be what he was. Uh, 135 tackles from Jordan Brooks. Tackles for loss. 13 from Darnell Baxter. Darnell Baxter is a moose. 9 from Roman Gray. 9 from Dexter Lawrence. 9.5 sacks for Roman Gray. 8 from Dexter Lawrence. 9 from Darnell Baxter. 5.5 for Nwosu. Interceptions, four from Jamal Adams, three from Shaquille Mellon, two for Antoine Winfield, two for Max Porter, and one for Jordan Brooks and Deontay. Let's see if there's any touchdowns. We got one from Jamal Adams. Another disappointing year. Ready for free agency. If there's a quarterback available, we're taking him because 
man, our quarterback of the future is just not developing to be the player that he should be. That just sucks. Let's look at this roster real fast. He's a 78 star, or 78 normal. We might package him in a trade. I think that's what we're going to do. It's funny. We offered Noah Fant $65 million when we try to re-sign him. He was like, nah, I'm going to test out free agency. We offer him 61 mil. He signs with us. Fucking clown. Kyle Pitts with the Buffalo. Buffalo's going to be fucking good again this year, man. Evan McPherson's on this list. I mean, it doesn't really matter having a kicker. We're still offering Trey Smith. We're going to up this because... Actually, we're actually winning this. We're going to up it a little bit more. We've got plenty of money. I'm going to be making a huge trade here in a minute. Call me crazy. We're giving Justin Fields one more chance to bring Seattle back to the Super Bowl. To be fair, Justin Fields did take us to the Super Bowl last rebuild, but trading Hartman. First round draft pick this year and third round draft pick next year for Justin Fields. Told you, we're making moves. All right, I'm not saying we're going all out, but we're going all out for this year. Bring a first, fifth, and a sixth for Patrick Sertain. 93 overall. Let's make some roster changes. But we really should make the playoffs this upcoming year. I would hope so. Justin Fields, huge upgrade. Kenneth Walker up to an 87. Receiving, we got DK Metcalf, 96. T. Higgins, 89. CJ Carroll's progressing real well. We got Noah Fant. 81 left tackle. 78 Damian Lewis. 80 Mike Young. Mike Young's progressing pretty well. 90 Chris Lindstorm. Ooh. 76 Kenyon Green. He's not progressing as fast as I thought he would be. Dexter Lawrence is up to an 84. Kuna Ford's only a 78. Could upgrade in that. Definitely could upgrade in defensive tackle. Da Darnell Baxter's only an 80, but he's already up to an 80. That's great. Tristan Hill's a 75. Roman Gray is already up to an 83. Shh. Jordan Brooks, 87. Jonathan Combs is only a 61. And Will Susan, 80. He's been doing really good for us, though. Patrick Sertain, 93. Max Porter, 83. CJ Henderson, 80. Shaquille Mellon, 75. We shouldn't have any problems with our backfield. Antoine Winfield, 90. Jamal Adams is still 92. Like this roster, you can't tell me this roster can not win. Midseason mark, we're actually 2 and 5. With this fucking roster. We're going to have enough money to resign anybody. Jesus, man. We got to resign DK Metcalf. We end up just signing Jamal Adams for an insane amount. Which I'm okay with. Stew or die. Couldn't afford it. We need to bring him back. Thank you. We didn't really increase that up too much. We got 35 mils still. We're going to save the rest. Kobe Bryant. Love him. But only a 72. We don't really need him. Somehow this team's only two and six. I'll see you at the playoffs. We're not even gonna make the playoffs. 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 I ain't talk about no playoffs. Playoffs. We end up finishing eight and nine. We're doing one more year, but man. Man. Seems an 89. We have studs, man. Why are we performing so bad? I've changed the scheme like five times. That might be a problem. I got Buffalo's defense. You'd think our defense would be incredible. Not the right scheme fit on defense. 3-4. Offensively, I've been bouncing. I was focusing on running when we had that rookie quarterback because he was a scrambler. The Baltimore's with a West Zone West Zone power rush or whatever. Uh, <clears throat> Cowboys finally won the Super Bowl. Beat Steelers. About time for them. Oh man, this rebuild has been very... It's been really fun. Love the players we drafted. In the first season. Just love it. But our players aren't progressing, man. Justin Fields, 32 touchdowns, 5 picks. That's what we're looking for. Only 4,000 yards, but great fucking stats. 900 yards again for Kenneth Walker, 8 TDs. Noah Fant, 900 yards, 7 TDs. I mean, we're just not. CJ Carroll at 807. DK Metcalf, just re-signed you, but we need you to have a big year next year. Bet Charles Cross is uh, number one. Yep, only gave up 10 sacks this year. Seven from Kenny Green and Chris Lindstorm. Good year blocking. 
Defensively, 128 tackles again for Jordan Brooks, leading Patrick Sertain with 24. 16 tackles for loss for Nwosu. That's why I'm saying Nwosu, it doesn't have a high overall, but dude, he fucking delivers every year. Roman Gray with 10, 11 from Dexter Lawrence and Puna Ford. Uh, eight and a half sacks from Nuosu. Not getting the sack numbers that we're expecting. Four picks from Max Porter. Dude, Max Porter was such a good pick. Really was. Two each from Colin, ha Colin Hoskins. Nice. CJ Henderson. One from Jordan Brooks and Patrick Sertain. Any touchdowns? We had one touchdown from CJ Henderson. Good stuff. Uh, it would be even better stuff if we could make the fucking playoffs one year. Or Jackson wins MVP. Oh, there's Hoffman coming in third. Shocking. Zeke won NFC Player of the Year. Known from the Seahawks. Shocking. Defensive Player of the Year. Julio Mack. Interesting. Known from the Seahawks. Offensive Rookie of the Year. Uh, known from the Seahawks. We didn't really have any picks. Oh, actually, Colin Hoskins won Rookie of the Year. Interesting. Good stuff. That's what happens when simulation drafts they whoever the computer drafts are in simulation they uh they win defensive play of the year so tells you how great a drafting i am evidently we up getting cave on thibodeau it's incredible we're going bigger going home man juju smith schuster sign already we don't really need any of these receivers i mean there's some good ones but don't need them greg kittle already signed with the rams shocking would you look at that i don't want to take a hat back because i do like kenneth walker uh, everyone else, man, we don't really need. We could take another DT. Will he sign for us? Like I said, it's do or die. It's do or die this season. I'm not going to worry about re-signing anybody, so. Uh, it's just frustrating, you know? We've done great. This rebuild, I, I think we did fantastic this rebuild. Just, we're not getting playoffs. Look at this team. Charles Cross, 84. Chris Lindstorm, 92. Oh, we don't have a left guard. We need to sign one, I guess. Chris Lindstorm can't play left guard and center. Oh, that's a problem. Uh, Lewis, why, why is Lindstorm playing both? Okay. We fixed it. Lewis is an 81. Now starting at left guard. Chris Lindstorm, 92. Trey Smith, 92. Kayvon Green, 82. Noah Fant, 89. Trey McBride, 79. DK Metcalf's 97. He goes from Superstar X Factor down to Star. He's just not been progressing at all. It's not been doing great for us. T. Higgins, 91. TJ Carroll went to a 79 star. Kenneth Walker's an 89 star. Justin Fields star, 87. This team cannot get any better. Defensively, our middle linebacker is... Hoskins just won Rookie of the Year, so like I know he's only a 74 normal, but he's producing good. Antoine Winfield, 94 star. Kayvon Thibodeau, 88 overall star. Like I said, Hoskins. We could definitely upgrade our linebackers, but Hoskins, he's a good rookie. Jordan Brooks, 89 star. He's been doing great for us. Roman Gray's superstar, 88 overall. This was the best pick we've ever made yet. Jamal Adams, 92 star. Patrick Sertain, 95 overall star. Max Porter, 86 normal. Max Porter's been having great seasons. I don't know how he only has normal devs still. He's up to an 86. Another great draft pick. CJ Henderson, 83 star. We got Puna Ford, 78. Rookie Watkins, 76. Defensive tackles we could definitely upgrade on, which I might look for trading somebody. 77 Hill. Dexter Lawrence is an 86. This team is fucking good, man. Let's make one more trade before we start. Let's get a good DT. We're just take a moment. Look at Andrew Iron's face. He's only 23 years old. Let me ask you. Does this look like a face of a 23 year old? Kind of looks like Charles Barkley. What? Trying two first round draft picks. We're, this is our last season. All in or not. 96 overall Jonathan Allen. He's like 30. But our last season. He's not going to regress too bad this year. That being said, our defense is now fucking insane. Send a regular season, dude. This is the year, man. This has to be the year. Our roster is insane, dude. 
There's no way we don't win the games this season. No fucking way in hell. We switch the spread offense. That should work a lot better. Let's advance to the midseason mark. Actually, let's just send the playoffs. We're sending straight playoffs. We're not we're not good negotiating any contracts. It's the final year. We're done after this. But man, if this team cannot make the playoffs, we are in trouble. We did not make the playoffs again. We went eight and nine. We never had a positive record on rebuild. 91 offense, 92 defense, 92 overall. This is it. Um so stressed out right now. Disappointed myself, I guess. Maybe I didn't choose the right schemes. I thought I did. The final roster, man. Look at these players. You're telling me these players can 98 overall Metcalf, 89 Justin Fields, dude. Defensively, man, come on. Jonathan Allen, 98 superstar. Patrick Sertain, 95. 84 CJ Henderson, 87 Max Porter. Roman Gray is a 91 superstar. Like, 95 star Antoine Winfield. Like, you're telling me this team cannot win a. You're telling me this team can't go fucking positive? Yeah, right, man. We're looking at the stats, then we're done. I'm just. I thought we had. I thought this was a great rebuild for us. I really did. Justin Fields, forty-five hundred yards, thirty-nine touchdowns, nineteen picks, a lot more interceptions this year, but he still had a good year. Russian Kenneth Walker only had eight hundred yards this year, fifteen touchdowns though for him. He progressed really nicely for us. Receiving Noah Fan had twelve hundred yards, ten TDs. Jesus, Matt Cap had a thousand, eleven TDs. Good year from him. T Higgins, all right. Carroll, all right. Blocking. Charles Cross, every year in this rebuild, Charles Cross has gave up the most sacks, but not bad. Ten, that's average for him now. Eight from Mike Young. Six from Kenyon Green. I mean, defensively, our defense was on the field a lot. 154 tackles from Jordan Brooks. Jordan Brooks leads every fucking year. Roman Gray, 104. Tackles for loss, 13 from Roman Gray. 13 from Jonathan Allen. 12 from Dexter Lawrence. 11 from Kayvon Thibodeau. 8 from Jordan Brooks, 7 for Darnell Baxter, 6 from Jamal Adams, too. This defensively, we did good. 13 sacks from Dexter Lawrence, not... All right, it's good. Roman Gray, 11, 10 and a half from Kayvon Thibodeau, 7 from Jonathan Allen, 5 from Daxton Booker, 5 interceptions for Jamal Adams. That's actually insane. 3 from Antoine Winfield, 2 from CJ Henderson, Max Porter, and 1 from Roman Gray, Kayvon Thibodeau, Patrick Sertain, and Jordan Brooks. Any touchdowns for this last season? No TDs. We'll check out the yearly rewards. Yearly awards and we're done, man. I'm just 27th offense. How? Joe Burrow, 14-3. Damn. I, Russell Wilson's on the commander. I, I don't know what's going on. Justin Herbert's on the Lions now. Interesting. Ezekiel Elliott's on the Patriots. I, I Crazy. Anything can happen. Christian McCaffrey is still on the Panthers. One NFC player of the year. No one from the Seahawks as expected. Defensive player of the year is Chase Young. Roman Gray actually made fifth. We finally, and Cave on Thibodeau eighth. We actually got Seahawks on defensive player of the year list. Holy shit. Offensive rookie of the year, no one. Defensive rookie of the year, no one for us as well. Guy, I'm sorry. I tried my best. I mean, look at this roster. The roster is fucking phenomenal. Roster was phenomenal, man. We're not bringing Justin Fields back to another rebuild. I mean, I love Justin Fields, but we're going to switch it up. I'm going to do a lot of research on scouting and drafting and even schemes because maybe the schemes have a lot to do with it, but I thought we 92 overall team can't go positive. Come on. Come on, man. With those stats, especially. Uh, very fun rebuild. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.